All right, let's call the meeting to order at 533. Uh, first order of business is the minutes from Tuesday, October 8th. They look fine. Can I get a motion? Second? Yes. All in favor? Yes. Aye. All righty. <clears throat> financial statement and there are warrants being signed yes there are five warrants presented for signature totaling fifty five thousand seven hundred fifty two dollars and thirty seven cents i uh, do have copies if anyone wants a paper copy of the general fund or school choice expenditure report happy to pass them off if you want them. um i did email them previously um, there's not a lot of activity to report or concerns to date uh, we did go through and clean up the books. I had talked about at previous meetings that there needed to be some work on the line items, so we've done that. So you shouldn't see any um, negatives to account balances. You might see some adjustments where a large sum of money was moved from one account to another. That was just to simply get things categorized properly. A um, couple of things just to note. Uh, there were no savings due to the IA salary contract um, that was finalized because there were so many folks at the top step and a step was added to that contract so um, it actually ended up being a wash for you in that change from two to one percent um, and then uh, the building general pairs line Kristen and Bill and I have been in conversation about that line item to make sure that we have the proper funds that we need and just have moved some things around uh, to make sure that we have enough to cover building general pairs that's really the only account that we're in communication about right now Awesome. Any questions? So how does the $30,000 grant funding fit into the building repair? It doesn't. <laughs> That's a completely separate project that was um, for specific items to be done, so it doesn't impact the general fund in any way. Is there, you working on a schedule to do whatever the... I mean, that was, that was the Bob Lesko legacy was sort of the coded, coded uh, school by school uh, guidebooks or whatever of what needs to be done and versus urgency time frame and yeah, all sorry. that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through that. Yep. Right the all right, yep. we get to the capital projects. Yep. All right, good. Yeah. But if you're talking about the KFOB <coughs> grant, that's yeah. got to be used. We can't use that for anything else. Um, so the final piece, if there's no expenditure questions, is to review the budget timeline calendar, which was included in the school committee packet that Donna Halfway sent out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will start meetings with administrators, department heads, and principals the first two weeks of December. And then the goal is to have a draft budget done by the end of December, December 31st, so that come our January school committee meeting, we can talk more in depth about that draft we won't have numbers from the state or anything at that point but it'll at least give us an idea of what we're looking at based on principals um, needs wants and administrator needs and wants i don't think house one comes out until the 27th or 29th so it's gonna be not until the last week of january that we have any numbers to really walk off work off of so at least we'll have an idea of what our needs are and then we'll adjust based on where the state funding comes in so then we'll continue talking um, in February and in March and present to Select Board and Finance Committee um, and then wait for the town meetings for final approval. Any questions about the timeline? It's amazing how fast it comes yeah. around again, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's very true. It's exhausting. It seems like we just, just did it. That's all I have. Any questions? No, I thought the timeline was really good. It's nice to have that sort of formalized like that. Great. They have to vote on the timeline. It says a vote for the timeline. If you want to just approve it. Just oh, okay. I'll move to approve the... Yeah, obviously, we can add meetings or... Conway School meetings. District FY21 budget calendar timeline. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. All righty. It timeline is accepted. Uh, all righty, public comment, and we have public. <laughs> Yay! We love having public. <laughs> I have a public comment. Okay. I'm Maggie West. I'm a fifth grade teacher here, and I'm also a resident of Conway. Um, so, as you know, teachers, elementary school teachers, are working under an expired contract, 
and we hope that you are working <coughs> towards settling a fair and equitable contract. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Anything else? No. That's it. Okay. Yeah, what's she said? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, we definitely value our teachers, so well, we're working hard at it. Um, unfinished business. We have no unfinished business. I thought we tabled something at our last meeting. I kept trying to think of what that was, because we didn't, because it was rushed and after. Was it just a playground discussion? We were talking about the playground, yeah. I think that's probably what it was, and that we could get. Yeah. We talked about the funding that Phil just gave me the link to. Yeah. And Phil, I'm going to write something up in Phil, and Phil and I can go in front of that board. So that's okay. So I think that was, yeah, I think that was what we left. In the last meeting, the joint meeting, you, know, you guys talked about, we had the joint meeting and you broke off. You yes, about it was always Oh, that's what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah. But it was, I'm pretty sure it was the playground stuff that we were discussing. It. We'll be discussing it today. All righty. So I you think like we're, playground. we're on to school improvement plan from okay, what I can see. Okay, so um, did everyone receive this electronically? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want me to just take questions rather than go through? Did everyone have a chance to look at it? The goals being um, improving teaching and learning, uh, school safety. If you just give us an overview. Diversity and inclusion and community and family and great engagement. So, improving teaching and learning. Um, we're focusing on differentiation, student choice, formative assessment, critical thinking. <laughs> writing as measured by student achievement, observation, and collaboration. So we have a very strong instructional leadership team here um, that works monthly to focus on um, teaching and learning at Conway Grammar School. I'm really lucky enough that um, every single classroom teacher K-6 to um, volunteered to serve on the committee, so that's <laughs> principal's dream here, right? So the ILT um, are the classroom teachers from K-6, to and we meet every month um, to go over data and look at our strengths and look at areas of growth. And then we also have um, teachers from K to five on the professional development committee so that we can pair the professional development with the work that we have to do. So that's goal number one. We have, we've had quite a bit of um, IA training this year, which has been new for us this year. We've been able to stagger our schedule on early release days. And I also gave you a copy um, which Sarah Mitchell gave us that she and Kim and the administrative team came up with for the full day off that we had and IAs had um, many different air, um, workshops to pick from. Um, our first focus this year has been trauma <coughs> and trauma the sensitive classrooms. And the second goal is school safety. Of course, you know, these aren't obviously in order. They're equally important. Um, and our safety drills and working with the um, law enforcement, fire departments, um, our uh, STAR behavior program, our second steps, pro step and second step program all fit into safety. And our third goal is diversity and inclusion. We've talked a lot about how we are predominantly white middle class uh, school. Um, several teachers have um, <coughs> jumped in, into Empatico this year and at some point we'll have a little presentation for you. Um, some teachers haven't been able to connect. They think it's a big thing right now, so a lot of people are connecting. Um, but other teachers are observing and sort of joining and sharing. So we're doing that. Um, we're doing Monty's March next Tuesday. Um, we decided that we wanted to develop diversity and equity core beliefs at Conway Grammar School, sort of like 10 beliefs, maybe eight beliefs, seven beliefs, but those beliefs that we're all working off of in terms of diversity and inclusion. Um, and training and continuation of responsive classroom, which supports this goal as well. And the last goal is community and family engagement. I won't go through every single thing, but as you can see, we have lots and lots of ways that we um, work to support to to involve the community and our families um, and all of these have been very successful in addition we we do um, quite a bit of um, 
student wellness activities. A couple of our staff are in their running clothes right now because they have running club on um, mm -hmm. Tuesdays, which is great. And then we have quite a few staff wellness activities as well. Um, so not only the community and families, but within our community here at Conway Grammar School. We, ha we do have a wellness grant um, for staff and we do um, seminars and exercise classes. And we just had massage the other day. Deb Hoy, is that right? What is it? Oil. Oil. Um, yeah, I know, right? Nice. We're living the dream over here, mm -hmm. <laughs> there in the woods. <laughs> Twenty-minute massages, and um, we were able to use a wellness. You could have done that in, co in you know, co coordination with the school committee meeting. <laughs> yeah. you know. So um, we had our first Veterans Day program this year, and that was that was amazing. We had eleven veterans come. You know, they all had tears in their eyes. We had tears in our eyes. The kids were amazing, unprompted. The fifth grade started a line at the end, just going right down the line. They shook each veteran's hand, looked them in the eye, and said, "Thank you for your service." And um, there were a lot of tears, and it was it was very nice. So we'll continue that tradition. The PTO is up and going. PTO, we Looking have along for two a to three <laughs> parents. <That's good. laughs> they're doing, you know, their Yankee fundraiser has bringing in some good money and you know they're very small but um and i know maggie jill and joe and paula you're not here for this but they do a lot don't they are a little small group they do they do quite a bit awesome. here um for the kids and you know staff and the school so um Great. we've tried we've tried eight o'clock meetings we've tried eight thirty meetings we've tried three o'clock meetings we've tried six o'clock meetings we have a lot of parents that just say tell me how much you need and we'll right. you know they, they don't love the fundraising and they don't have time for meetings. Yeah. I don't see the the, the um, low number of parents as a reflection of parents not caring because anytime we need anything, there's, you know, 10 parents there to say, here, I'll put up the basketball hoops or we'll do this or we'll do that. So it's just I think people are really busy. But it's going and we yeah. support it and it's good. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Any questions about the school improvement plan? The one thing that caught my eye was the in your goal three, the switching lunch and recess time. And I can just re recall or imagine how well that would have gone over with my daughter to back in the day. Um, but uh, I, you know, I don't remember that being a past practice when so last a few year, years back. So I don't know. Yeah, this is new. So thanks for catching me. So um, we have some classes that have four girls in them uh, in the class and that's it or um, three boys we have one class that has three boys and um, we talked about expanding kids peer groups and play groups because we do a K through three and then a four through six so we do two things we went from three lunches to two lunches to expand peer groups and then the, we thought we'd take it even a little farther and we do buddy classes but we switch um, help me out here uh, Every week, K, uh, second and fifth grade switch, right? Okay, second and fifth grade switch. So the fifth graders are out with K, one, and three, and the second graders are out with four and six. And Maggie, I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't even know if you can speak to this, but the fifth kids, graders love it. I yeah. Mean, younger kids love it too. Yeah. 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 Cool. The other thing that we did, um, which we're starting monthly, you should have seen the kids, and you can't believe the number of emails I received from parents about this. So we took a day and we asked staff to go in and meet with the kids and we have nine lunch tables at both lunches. And every lunch table had an adult there eating lunch with the kids and having conversations. The kids were so happy, they were so excited and I received so many emails from parents that we decided we're gonna do it once a month. The staff is gonna sign up and then go eat with the table with the kids. So again, we're trying to, the small school is great but we certainly have our challenges when you only have three girls in your class or three boys in your class and, and it's not always girl boy I'm not I'm not suggesting that but that's where some of our problems seem to have, seem to arise when mm -hmm. cool I love the creativity thank you that's awesome so do we need to vote on this yes you do all righty <coughs> I have a motion to accept the school improvement plan sure so moved second all in favor? It's not on here. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty, it's unanimous. Uh, 
All righty, capital projects. You guys all remember Bill? Bill, Hi, Bill. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Passing a, a list around. Great. Really a live document. It's um, always changing, obviously. Things come up, different urgencies, but it's it's a list and it's our attempt at looking into the future and the near future and the distant future. And so a couple of the big things this year, you guys were already talking about recreation equipment, but is the hallway carpet out here really, really needs to be replaced. And um, I, brought in, I brought a company in to look at um, our playgrounds out there and get some ideas and some quotes. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a particular issue under the swing set with the mat, the matting that's all torn up. Mm -hmm. And um, those, those swing sets uh, consist of fall zones. <clears throat> you have to consider all the, the area that a, a person could fall off that swing. And right now, one of the major concerns is the basketball court is in the fall zone. Mm -hmm. So the new swing set, we would actually turn the other way. Mm -hmm or possibly move back if we had, had enough room there. I need to measure that up a little better, but I want to get the ball rolling and get everybody thinking about the playgrounds out here. Getting the ball rolling. <laughs> it's too easy. So, so, looking at, so you're looking at the top four where we're, I want to discuss as capital projects. So, you know, the, the whole carpet replacement is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. The swing set replacement, the question there is whether or not, and I'm looking over at you, Phil, because you have probably the connections to whether or not <coughs> CPA money should be looking at playground Absolutely. equipment or not. Absolutely, it's recreational. And pull it out. And where do we pull that out? I mean, I know the money is all coming from the same wallet so to speak but it's different no it's, pots. it's a different wallet I mean, really, I, right, yeah. right. so but and then i want to talk about there's two other as i go through this so i want to talk a little bit about that and then we're looking to get a price on this right now the water tank gets filled in how many gallons per minute bill 3.75 very slow filled so whenever we've had running uh, it's a funny problem to have whenever we have a running toilet overnight we run out of water in the building um because they we just can't keep up with the, water, the flow, what this is is going to actually create a system where if we ever had an emergency where this became a shelter for several days and you're going through a lot more gallons per minute than a school day, you could hook up a water truck to fill the water tank from another source. And so it may not equal a capital improvement level. It may not equal $5,000. We're still waiting and see, right? I just met two minutes before the meeting started. Perfect. Fifteen hundred. Oh, so it's not so it's not going right. to qualify right. for that. The problem is we've got a bunch of little things that aren't equaling up the capital improvement. So we're probably going to have to talk about, as you can see on the list going through, there's small things, but we have such a small maintenance budget that you do a couple of those and you got nothing left for regular, mm -hmm. you know, cleaning and you know regular maintenance. You know, such as painting and that kind of stuff. I know people are saying that. When I say people. I hear from town folks in different towns saying that that should be part of your maintenance budget, but we try to keep a tight maintenance budget. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we could expand upon it, do it that way, or we could try to figure out a way of paying out our capital funds. And then the last one is the generator is not at end of life. Bill, well, why don't you talk? Well, you kind of it's not at end of life, and it's and it's working right now and operating properly. But it it is a, a unit that's not made anymore. It's not in production anymore, and so. Um, I've had a few companies up here to look at all the schools in the district for servicing all of our generators and getting on with the same company and both of them recommended we should start getting this on the capital planning and start thinking about it. And again, I'm, I'm not sure if the funding for so, that so, will be... So we, 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 are, we are the right. only school that has a, a, school, a school capital stabilization fund. Right. Because we've been and, putting money in it over and the last. We, and this has been a ten year project of ours and we we, we have we have two hundred and seventy something, two hundred and eighty thousand dollars in there. Um, and that was our goal originally and we have until we spend we, whatever we spend out of that we've we been put back. we've been putting it back. Sure. But that was based on a worst case scenario of what if both boilers go at the same time sure. and um, and, and not just the boilers, but the whole boiler system, mm -hmm. um, as well as you know other major systems. And so that was so that we we are set. But we are the only school. Like Frontier's working. Frontier has one actually, but it's 
But it also seems the like the generator might be a shared expense with the town because this is the emergency so the location. So, right. so if so the generator so. goes, where? No, that's the one thing you can get grants on is the all that emergency management luck. stuff. Okay. So the town can. When I so I contacted Tom Hutchinson on that. I just wanted to I wanted to put it across his radar is that. And again, I kind of said, well, there's silos of money. I think that's how I explained it in that email. Um, should the school be using the silo for a generator for emergency shelter when it could be using it for, you know, programmatically related things? Because if we don't have electricity, well, we could have school up here, and we've had, we actually did that in Waitley a few weeks ago. Waitley had school even though we didn't have power. Um, for the most part, kids are sent home. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, so it's not really part of daily operations, but it's also... So the question is, should it come from that silo? And I, and it, we has also the, it has in the past. Back when the last time the town EMS got, uh, we, we, they did get a grant for maintenance of uh, of, uh, of the generator or, or mm -hmm. plug whatever. And that was back when Rick Bean was the EMS mm -hmm. person. May he rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, um, now there's a new EMS manager in Conway, and that's Murphy. Mur Murphy. And... Uh, um, if, if we don't, he'll, he'll write a grant if we. So I, I think what. right now, like we said, it isn't. It's not in our kind of. It's one we want to put on the radar by having a discussion here, and then by taking this to the capital, the capital committee to be looking at to put it on their radar to maybe look at grants. It's not something we're looking for. You know, funding. Would you agree, Bill? This yes, year we want to. Right. You know, this list. The idea of this list, and we're trying to do this with all the towns. And you know, Bill's playing is playing catch up the last few months, keeping things going and trying to create this list, but is to have an idea of when so people can predict these costs coming down the line. Conway's in good shape. There's not a lot of big costs. I mean, you know, obviously after doing the roof a few years back, which was been was the big mammoth cost in the in the recent years. Um, that's probably the biggest cost. Um, that carpet's got to get done. coming down the hill. Yep. So on the edge of embarrassing. So. Yeah, right, those are our red ones. So obviously the red ones we're asking for, um, you know, consideration today. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we approach the swing set thing. To we you gotta write out. a letter to the. No, no, no you I, the, gonna, you set that in motion by filling out the form. The, the form, um, and they don't schedule meetings usually until they have something to yeah. meet on. So I have the form um, now, and then Phil said he would go to a meeting too. So we'll move forward with that, Darius. Okay. So we'll do a CPA request yep. for funds. Yeah. But it, put all your recreational things in, like put the playground, the preschool right. pre-K <clears throat> playground in there too. Like it should all be in there. Right. Okay. Whatever you have that's, that's, that's tied not, to recreation. I mean, there's well, it's not the just a swing set. There's also some grading involved, and yep. you know, um, I don't know what else would be involved. Well, the other thing installing. we talked about the woods out there. At one point, there were walking trails, but then the storm came through and there are their wrecks. So that should be included if you want walking yeah. trails again. Yeah. Except for everybody's afraid of ticks, but well, yeah. we live in a tick-infested world. Right. And I no, guess I brought that up. Several you know, times we'll have to. Right. You, we'll have to meet to just kind of talk because what's the scope? You know what I mean? How much playground? How much do you want to do? Do you want to break it up over multiple years, depending on what the overall price is? And as you probably guys know, the new playground structures with the new, what do you ADA, call those? ADA What's that? ADA. Well, you got the ADA requirement. I'm trying to think of the exact well, call, what they call that, the new patio, you know, when oh, ships God. are out. Yep. Um, if you're putting a new structure, you got to put it in the, the what are the, the rubber, tire. Yeah. Kid yeah. hits it, they bounce up, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so it gets very expensive. No monkey bar. Right, right. What I'm saying is, it gets very expensive. Very, and get a boo -boo. It gets very expensive very quickly. Yeah. So we kind of have to make sure that if we're going to do it in stages, because each time you open up one of those, you open up a new ADA requirement, yeah. and so you know. Although you better to do it all at once in terms of work and cost and. Right. And the CPA has money. I mean, it hasn't invested in a project as far as I know in years. We just authorized a couple, the cupola for the town hall. Um, and, and the bee pollinator corridor. Mm. Is that a thing? Yes, it's a thing. It's a thing and we're authorizing it. Right. We're going to vote for the right. town meeting. Very excited about okay. it. Okay, very excited. <laughs> because, you know, bees. Yeah, they're, just, they're everywhere, but... Hopefully right. not on the playground. All right. But my vegan daughter won't eat them because... won't eat honey because it's animals. So... Okay. You guys are going to have to guide me here. 
Okay. You guys are the only town that has a its own capitalization fund. Yeah. So I just have to alert the town. I mean, actually, I'm asking you, but well, you guys probably both know how this yeah. works. And the separate warrant article. Learn with me here. Um, the separate warrant article. So we're going to ask for carpet money, probably round up to ten thousand for yeah. nine ninety nine. Right? Are we keeping that under quotes? Yep. Um. Um and. Put forward the warrant article. So I just have to alert. And so who do I alert? So it d there's again, a you know what I can say. There's a there's first rooms. What's the library look like? Like if you're doing one, you might as well do the shebang. There's first a strategic, not a, a strategic choice, but a uh, uh, not just a strategic <laughs> choice, but sort of a. Uh, uh, the, the, I know, the, the but way, we had to do way, Maggie's so, classroom no, no, last year, no, be, you know, be, because and it needed to be done. I'm saying there's depending on how the rest of the budget shakes out, whether or not there's room in the regular budget for some of these projects that um, can be put in the regular budget lawfully uh, and then it would not require a separate vote. The, 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 with all these projects, when, as soon as you go to a, a specific vote for a warrant, the exception would be when it's coming out of stabilization and they're, you're not asking them to pay for it with new, with new taxation. Um, and the same thing with the CPA money, you're not asking them to pay for it with new taxation. But when you put a warrant article for items, um, and you're asking for it to be paid out of assessment. Um, and the money's already sitting there, it, they're going to say it yes. Is, it is amazing, it doesn't matter what you ask for, you'll just stand up and, you know, somebody will stand up and say, you know, that motor's good should be good for ten thousand more miles. You know, it just, it's the highway it's, to it, it, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. That, that those wood chips. You, what, what are you you're just really. going to throw? You're just going to throw all those wood department. chips out. You could, yeah. you know, you could, uh, whatever. Blah 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 blah. I will take them so, by hand and lead so, them and point so, to the carpet fill and say, "What do you think about this? Can we reuse this?" Uh, so I think it's kind of a done deal. No, I know, but that it's always. Uh, I would I would say if it's possible to do any of these within the confines of the regular well, budget, yeah, but those, do those, it, but, but the, and I really you start you're looking at all those ones that are under five thousand, and I, I can see yeah. I see three straight off the or four straight right. off the bat. Looking at the one with the question marks, the water hookup is top as well. I mean, those are the ones we're going to look at any year funds. Right. right now, the maintenance budget line is a little bit tighter um, um, due to some summary kitchen repairs. Um, that probably mm -hmm. could have been built in the last year, but ended up carrying over in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, but we, you know, we can look at what the whole budget. It's a little bit tighter than mm -hmm. I would say we, we've had in some years. Can I ask another radical question? Why carpet? Dun, dun. So, most of the teachers are. Paul, at your room was just tiled, right? Most of the teachers are requesting tile. Except for Mr. Gifford. But the hallway. And the hallway. There's yeah. good reason for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we talked about it. Slip yeah. ball. Exactly. So there's a ramp that goes the whole way. You put that wet kid <coughs> in snow boots. It's kind of, and there's the acoustics of that hallway. I it's have some kind of uh, texture. Yeah, that's true. Or something. That that's work true. that in all my waiting rooms that rubberized texture mm -hmm. tile that you can yeah, fall on and bounce up off of. When it's bad, we can put it out underneath the playground. Bruce, left pieces, pieces can go in the playground. All right, okay. Playground. Or we just get carpet. This, this is exactly what town meeting does to this exact kind of request. <laughs> nice or we just get carpet. It's like an ice cream rink right now with the kids. Feeling. If you come in that hallway and there's not the carpet, um, Bruce is begging for carpet. Yeah. Nice to get it nice and I mean, we can look at other options. I mean, I think it's great if teachers have a say about their own classroom, you know, or an option, yeah. because I do think, you know, carpet holds a lot of stuff that yeah. tile, yeah. et cetera, doesn't. Yeah. A lot of if schools, you're going to be sitting on a floor, you don't want to be sitting on a floor full of right. things that can't easily be washed up. We've converted some of the 12 by 12 VCT tiles, the white tiles in the classrooms. We've converted some of those rooms over to, in other schools, over to the LVT, the vinyl plank. Uh, yes, so it looks like that's wood, what I have and at work. Yeah, and they love it. Yeah, that's what I have they at work. It. I still think that would be slippery out here in the hall if yeah. it was really, really wet. I, yeah. But you're right, it does Probably. have a grip to it, and it's, it's got a yeah. cushion to it. Yeah, I have wheelchairs, walkers, running yeah. kids yep. all over at night. Knock wood, haven't had a slip in the fall, but I don't have the whole ramp that extended of a ramp with the kids at 50 miles an hour, but down to the bus. So, or into school, because they wouldn't want to leave school that fast. <laughs> All right, so 
We'll look at other options as well. I think Carpet has a far lead on the other options, okay. but as you if you see anything else, and I'll ask, mm. we'll ask Bill here to see what other options are out there. But I, that think, vibe, I, I, that, think, you're, I that, think you're looking at Carpet. That flooring <laughs> we were talking about is very kind of homey too. Like it's yeah, we're using it in classrooms. Yeah, but, but we've been uh, Deerfield okay. Elementary's got some, and uh, they love it. They love it. Um, so, do you want me to move forward with asking for three classrooms, three four classrooms? Okay. That was the plan. Yep. That's been the plan for years now. Do a couple each time we can. I think we've only done one. We did, we did Maggie's. Do Paulette's. Two, I, think. I think. Paulette's and Maggie's, Maggie's last year. Wait. First grade has been done. Has <laughs> preschool been done? Oh. Just last. Since I've been here, it's only been Maggie and Paulette. They did wings. And mm -hmm. wings. That wasn't done when I was here, so it was beyond four years. Yeah. Preschool done? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll go we'll take a walk back through and see where. How many more remain to be done, I guess, is the question. Sounds about half. About half are done? Mm. I don't think no. it's that many. I don't think it is that many. Mm. I don't think it's quite half. Can we take I can only those? go back for four years. Jill, does your room need new flooring? No. no. Is it been done? It has been done. Oh, and third grade. She has uh, carp new carpet. I have new carpet, yeah. Oh, third grade has new carpet. Well, car new carpet probably three years ago. Okay. That's, three, three, that's new years? comparatively. Did you do that? No, so. No, you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. That was before, so that was probably Judy's last year. Five, Five years ago, yeah. We'll take away the second hydration station and just redo the bathrooms. Or for, is that for possible? Or we the 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 Warren article deadline is... Because now the kids will come all the way down here for the hydration yeah. station. That's Why, true. what do you want? She those hates bathrooms. Those bathrooms. I hate those bathrooms. Yeah. Those I can bathrooms find out for are kind of... Yeah. So I don't so think the partitions are just going to do it. I think they need a whole... Come back with a new... Yeah, so I'd have, to, I'd have to figure that number out. Watch this, but they're not on it. I can certainly do that. They're kind of gross, sorry. Well, I thought the... They've been here since I was, like, eight. Which was, like, I'm only 10 years ago. so... Just barely voting. So no, I, I mean, those bathrooms, I hover. I'm just telling you. You mean those the bathrooms petition? are kind of gross. Yeah. No, I need the whole new, needs bleach and a chisel and <laughs> new tile, <laughs> new <laughs> grout, new sinks. Just saying. <laughs> That's great. So what we'll do? They so don't what really we'll do? Need a swing set. They we, we, do better. We've got some feedback here. Your timeline is later <laughs> than others. Some people have to have their cap plans in by the end of this month. Oh, okay. Or right. Our town December, yours last, a little bit, a little bit later, and because I think it's coming out of your own account, if they don't, it doesn't have to. Other towns you have to go before a capital planning committee, and they divide up the rest of the money of the town. Since you have your own reserve, we have a little bit more leeway. So what we'll do is we'll we'll kind of we'll revisit the classroom schedule, and I'm looking over at Kristen too. We'll revisit the classroom yeah, schedule, so and kind of, we'll come back with a, a refined list after this. We'll probably pull the generator out, but I want it to be on people's radar to you know, yeah. go downtown, and then we'll also ask for the CPA funds. So if we pull the CPA out, we actually have room to okay. do a little bit other more do the carpeting. And the, this, the bathroom, we move the bathrooms up. I mean, we the can talk CPA about is a longer time, uh, is a more time consuming process than yeah. the rest. Yep. So, cause it's, it's not right. that time. Ashley, actually, 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 oh. we were talking about self. Um, Flushing toilets. Yeah. <laughs> Not the hand dryers, though. Thank God. But how do we teach responsibility? So how do we teach responsibility? <laughs> and other ways than flushing the toilet. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Because <laughs> they're never flushed like, anyway. It's like digital versus analog <laughs> clock. They're failing to miserably. They're down. I hope somebody's watching this on at home. We're keeping tonight. it entertaining for the China Conway. I actually found somebody saw me in the. Uh, the uh, post office the other like a few weeks ago well a couple months ago yeah. now actually it's like oh i know you i watched the school committee meetings i'm like you do i didn't think anybody oh, i hope those. they didn't see the hand dryer episode i hope not <laughs> <laughs> there's some we already to get the hand dryers <laughs> we should title them blew it out of the water with all the new yeah. research on i campaigned the for them forever yeah. because she i wanted, wanted to save forever. trees so we had them we had an the estimate that it was like the week before they were installed and i learned the dirty truth about hand dryers we had a call and i like i and darius was like seriously i've been listening to you for how long about <laughs> hand dryers oh, and poor now Bob i'm like, was like what 
<laughs> I was like, well, he's been shown I can learn, right? And yeah. I can You're get showing new us. information in and process it. And Bob was able. worried we were going to get mindset. <laughs> I never knew that about hand dryers. Now I'm like, oh! I thought dear is such a Keep flawless. me away! <laughs> Whoever came up with that idea then? They're everywhere. All righty. All right, phew. Too much fun. All right. All, All right. right, so we'll come back yeah. for that for a vote on that. Okay. Well, if, if anything, the, the, better the pro one. if anything, the project list is pretty modest, and the time frame is pretty conservative. I agree. And uh, I thought, I thought maybe, you know, if, if you need some of these things, I don't know. Five years out seems like a long time to wait for. I mean, some. some I think schools are like community mental health centers. They're on a, like a deficit thinking, like a poverty thinking, and you guys don't add enough into your budget that sometimes that I think you should, I mean, like I've always said to you, you should have a wish list, you know, we can't always do it, but people just think, oh no, we can't do that, and I'm like, we gotta, these are, this is the town's investment, we should be proud of it, we should, it should be, you know, something that people are proud to come to, and you know, don't walk through the halls and go like, ooh, you know? I mean, we should be proud of this. It's the most expensive thing in our budget, and we should take care of it, and it's our job to take care of it. And so I don't think you should have, like, this poverty mentality, like, oh, we can't buy one more whatever. And schools have that mentality. Toner, 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 toner. Right, see? We're scared. Same thing. I mean... You know, money. I've worked in places where it's like ordering a pencil is like, you know, oh You're my god. To copy things right now. Right. We spent loads of our toner. Mm -hmm. But my our wish list item did get on here, air conditioning for the classrooms. Yeah. Good. With no number. Yeah. <laughs> right. Again, so we'll, we'll revise, come back, talk well, about Well, and I December. wonder if we can get a grant for that through, you know, uh, whatever our energy company is, Eversource or whatever. There's got to be funding for school systems to upgrade infrastructure. We're, we're working on, a, on that with, a, with another building. It's not AC, though. They're looking at fixtures. Solar panels. Solar no, panels fixtures and that kind of stuff. And you, you're paying for it in different ways. It's well, we Totally. They you know, don't. They have to fill their pockets yeah. now. And so, but. I mean, they, they entice you by energy savings and then spending that energy savings up front. Right. You know, so... I thought, yeah. I but thought, ones, but, well, the, the, what I thought about that, I thought about this previously, was that air conditioning in classrooms now is sort of a function of climate change. It is. Um, and that there are climate mitigation uh, grants available to the towns. Um, there's a, a municipal vulnerability program uh, grants that the state air has. Um, well, that, but, but, but it is, you know, the, it's, you can, the, you have the, there's data that shows that the temperature, that, that, yeah, you, oh, know, that's you true. need them now and Absolutely. you didn't before, and, um, you know, so. Well, um, we should keep our eyes out. Yeah. Okay. But, so we're not voting on this now? No. Okay. It sounds like we can do a little bit. All righty. Clean it up and bring it back. So we're on to reports, it looks like. <clears throat> Oh, paper versus digital. Oh, paper. Oops. Thank you for the catch. Paper versus digital as I look at my paper. <laughs> All right. So how this happened was at the joint meeting, everybody just said, let's just go digital. And then some people say, well, print out me copies. And then a couple other people. And I went back and Donna like hit me with a two by four. And she said, I can't, you know, there's 25 members. And each committee really should decide as a whole how they were doing business. And so I know you kind of chimed in immediately, like, keep it digital. Um, but we just want to be clear because different people give different reports. And then there's obviously some stuff that comes out of paper at meetings. Um, we're fine with giving digital in advance, but I also want to make sure that while it's the green thing to do, you guys are also in charge of a lot of money and a lot of moving parts. And so if you're not reading things that are coming to you green, it's okay to spend a few dollars on paper when you're in charge of millions of dollars. So that's been my feel I've given to every kind of school committee. So make sure it's what you want to do. Um, and what we've done with other committees, just as a kind of a thing, is anything that we can give in advance, we're giving it digitally in advance. This is what all the committees so far are doing. We're giving it digitally in advance, and then stuff that has to be given out at the meeting, or was, you know, sometimes deadlines are, is the meeting, so something right. that created a day of meeting, um, we provide the day of meeting. Right. So 
Um, we also have another committee that's actually using school Chromebooks at the at the meeting. It happens during the school day, so it's a lot easier. So they have the digital in front of them. Um, My only issue well, is, can I always log on? I mean, which up here yeah. lately, I mean, I've been able to, but that is sometimes an issue. Yeah. Right. If we have moving around meetings. Maybe we whatever. eventually get there. Maybe we don't have to, you know, right. but, you know, but when you get the budget season, there will be a lot. I think there will be handouts because you really have to sometimes write on and circle and draw lines and cross things out. And don't, and, and the general public especially, it cannot be expected to review everything digitally before they come in and ask questions about it. That's not gonna go over well. Um, but the, the, the and stuff and stuff. yeah, and I mean, that's that's my take on the digital thing I know, too. But the budgets it, it, are the biggest thing. They're big and fat and take a million trees. But and they're the hardest to <laughs> even if you do it digitally, they're the hardest to read. All the you, you just sit there like that. You just dead and then it, you lose it. And you, you get it, whatever. Get a bigger it, computer screen. Well, that's where the Chromebooks make sense. But <laughs> but you're already killing trees because you didn't put those hand dryers in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> Saving us saving us lives. Saving because they're not getting so much germs. So many germs. <laughs> <laughs> Trees right, so are deadly. Now you care about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about we? What about we split it down the middle and we like share packets? So we have half the number. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's so everything ahead and digitally. Every, and few, everything and a, ahead and digitally. And a, a couple copies at the meeting. But a couple of backup to, copies in case that somebody That kind of defeats the purpose of, Donald, of Donna's or, concerns, though. I mean, it sort of. We can. Um, well, I'm talking instead that. of making, you know, five or six or eight copies, and then you have a member don't show, and that's a, like. Yep. So make half the number. We're all friendly. We can share. Except you. <laughs> Sit over there. <laughs> Donna's whole concern is that, you know, there's already too many toppings on the pizza. Now we're just putting more on them, but that's okay. I think she can handle okay. it. Okay. It's less copies to make. All right. Mm. Does that make sense? No. Or do you want to go, do you want to go digital? <laughs> no. You want five copies every meeting? I don't know. I, I just think it, we should decide either one way or the other so it's not extra thought. Well, I don't mind sharing. If anybody... I don't mind sharing. I don't always shower before, but I'll share. Denise? I tend to like paper. If I'm, if I'm needing to... Just don't bring one... Controversy of the Conway <laughs> the Conway Center. You're reading it ahead of time. The Conway School time. Committee. Yes. So, I think some things, communications, great, certain things, electronic, but if we were needing to review something and vote on something, then I like to have it in front of me. Well, you can have one of the copies that okay. comes. I'll share it with you. I'll share with you. Okay. It looks like they're paper copies. We're just doing one less. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Although I know Michael's a... He's an iPad guy. He's an iPad guy. So I know he's digital too. So. We'll just yeah. bring our own copies. I print everything. Well, out right. I mean, I if you bring your own copies and you can be digital, and you do your own thing. The, the issue was that we do have some members that are like my printer. That's you, oh. know, you know, sometimes it's you know, ten pages of meeting and yeah. they're like. Right. So then you're printing them yourself, oh and then we have paper here. So right. you double killed the trees. So I should not print them. These are these are tough problems in today's day and age. All right. So. We'll bring some copies. Couple, <laughs> we, reduce the copies. We're going to reduce the number. Okay. I'm glad we Man, approached that. That was five minutes of our lives. We are not getting there. Nope. Right. Not anytime soon. On to reports. <clears throat> um, the first report is A, which is really a B. So it's really your B is your A. Well, A was budget timeline, which you already did. Okay. No. No, yes. it wasn't. No. So anyway, the chairman, do you have a, a report? I do not have a report. Collaborative? Who's our collaborative? Right? Michael. Michael. He's not so, here. He's there not is going to be a vote at the next meeting for the collaborative. You know, just FYI, I'll be bringing it. They want, they need us to vote in Gateway and Worthington into the collaborative. Oh, good. Um, which is an odd pair. Yeah. If you know the history there. Yeah. And, um... But they just happen to be coming at the same time. And then um, charging more for non 
collaborative members to do take advantage of collaborative services. Oh, that's take five bucks more or something. Yeah. So, but I'll get that. That'll be on the next agenda. Great. Kristen, was your principal's report the oh, yeah the yes. school improvement the school plan. improvement plan? And I just look at how clever to, you are. Yes, and um, just refer you to our Conway Grammar School newsletter, which we did not give paper copies out. Um, they're online and we have it in various places, but every classroom and um, faculty member put something in it. We're going to do it four times a year. Lots of um, positive comments from families about the newsletter as well because every awesome. classroom contributed something. It's a so, great thing to have laying around at annual town meeting. Yeah. Like a little stack at your table. Good idea. Or you can take one and put it in the town hall so people can oh, sit should. there and look That's at it. Or you can leave out iPads so they don't have to take your copies. What about all this paper that comes home in our folders every night? Well, we're trying to reduce on paper notices and stuff, but the really important stuff comes home with notice. Are you still getting kind of notice? Well, yeah. seems, it still seems like a lot of paper. Does it? Paper gets lost, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't like paper in terms of, I'd rather get, like, you like paper email. or you <laughs> don't like paper. <laughs> <laughs> Back up your <laughs> <mom's face. laughs> I don't like, want to be behind you in the purple shop behind you for plastic. Paper. You're there all day. <laughs> Sure, you're here by 8:40 because the bus is leaving at 8:40 for Annie on Friday. Went on Dojo, went out via email, went out on paper because it's like right. we really need those kids here. So something um, like that, we did triple dose. You're right, but um, probably the half day on Wednesday will go all three ways because still some people rely. So I think the super important things that can't have any leeway in terms of mistakes. They hit the media mm. in every way. Yeah. Yeah. And we're still going to have somebody like and someone's going to say, yeah. and you didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I wasn't told. I didn't get that. I'm, I didn't get that. Yeah. I've been guilty as a parent. They yeah. told us. <laughs> uh, I guess they the did backpack. a few different ways. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so that's it for principal's report? Yeah. Okay. Darius, you have anything for I us? have one. Um, I didn't make copies of it because I thought it was a waste of paper. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> But I'll just read it off. I, I don't think you need to uh, have a paper, extra piece of paper on this. I just wanted to thank um, Diana Capuano after 23 years of service as a SPED secretary, retired at the end of October. Did she really? And so, yeah, she oh, did. Wow. And so we gave her a sending off party. Um, but I just wanted to thank her publicly for her years of supporting all families, you know, primary special education students and, and teachers, but all the families in the district. So. She's going to be a tough act to follow. 23 years. Um, I also attended the MASC. You were supposed to say that as part of your... Oh, oh right. Yeah, really. That's true. So, did you go? I did not go. You didn't go down? No. But I do have a new puppy. I know. <laughs> that almost stopped right. the other day. That's almost the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Because I got to go with, with Bob and Bob, Elaine and um, Olivia. Yep. Leon. And um, there's some good, there's some good ones. It spreads out over multiple. I mean, I want, right? I want conference after conference. Don't give me an hour in between. I know. You know what I mean, um, but that's that's my complaint about that. I want, I want you know. Be and all the vendors. Uh, Hello. And some people love the vendors, and I can't. It's because they you know. stick the free ice cream freezer right between right all those between vendors, vendors, so I always yeah. just have to go back there. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. Go down to the vendors yeah. and the coppers and so I didn't buy anything from the vendors, so I know. I know. I know. The keynote speaker was not. I mean, he was very interesting, but he was very depressing because he was basically just like, yeah. politics are challenging right now and they're not going to get any better soon. I was like, that was uplifting. For I an mean, hour. To me, an hour right, that over and over again. And it was interesting. He was talking about the history, about how he things, that, if you was a poli sci course, he was, he was dead on. He, was. <laughs> he had trouble landing the plane and how it connected to the classroom and education. Like, but, the, literally the last five minutes, he goes, so this is connected to school committees like this. And it was like, oh man, glad you finally tied it in. But yeah. it was, everybody really, I sat at lunch that day and everybody's like, well, that was depressing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like just talking about the separation. tribalism and extremes and you know just and how that's going to continue, continue only going to get worse it's like oh usually they give you a keynote or let's rah rah let's go let's get excited your let's, work is you know, important it right and this was just like wow you're good about yourself. 
But I did go to a really great talk on uh, creativity and imagination and how to encourage it in mm. our students because mm. they're going to be, how do we prepare them for jobs in 20 years that don't mm. exist at this point in time? And we're, we can't even envision what they're going to be and here we are teaching our students, mm. you know, and how can we teach them to think, you know? Yeah. So, anyway, that, he was good, you know. So that was that was that was worth it. He should have been the keynote. Anyway. Yeah. Those were my points. Alrighty. Any other business? Um, if you want updates on negotiations, you can go to the executive session. But that's up to you. And then that's all we got. Any updates? Do you want any updates on negotiations or? It's on the agenda for all the meetings. Might as well. We're here. So we'll go okay. to executive session when that can do business coming out? Yep.